The throngs of rock music fans are now a distant memory at Detroit's East Town Theater. On this cold morning, the sidewalk in front serves as a bed for the homeless. Step inside, and the once iconic stage that hosted rock singers Bob Seger, Ted Nugent, and Alice Cooper is filled with holes. It now more closely resembles the aftermath of a bombing, but it's not war-torn. It's the byproduct of neglect, an example of economic decline. Photographer Jesse Welter sees beyond the decay. He sees art. Yeah, I can see the, the beauty in it and the architecture. The former beauty of St. Agnes Catholic Church is pierced by crumbling columns, broken windows, and graffiti. There hasn't been a service here since 2006. Inside the school next to the church are forgotten shoes, open books on abandoned desks, and hallways once filled with students, now full of debris. This is Jesse Welter's canvas. His camera is his paintbrush, and his artwork tells a story. I think they kind of tell you the history, you know, the, the past of what, you know, what it is, what it's, what it's become. What it's become for Welter is not just a hobby, but a part-time job as a guide through Detroit's misery. Basically, I was kind of doing this on my own, and I thought, you know, why not take people with me and give people an opportunity to do what I do. In 2011, Welter began inviting other photographers on his adventures through Detroit's evaporating architectural history. Now, he charges between $40 and $100 per person for tours of Detroit's blight. He says much of the money goes for expenses transporting his customers. My van, I can take up to 10 people, and they're usually full. Been doing this since 2011, and I've been to probably over 180 different buildings. And the tours, I've probably done probably about 300 tours. The popularity of Welter's tours has increased as the number of abandoned structures has grown. Detroit's emergency manager, Kevin Orr, estimates there are 78,000 blighted structures, which are targets of vandalism and fire. Right now, our public safety is stressed. Glenda Price is co-chair of the Detroit Blight Removal Task Force. It's developing a roadmap to eliminate Detroit's blight over the next three years. We're looking at all structures in the city of Detroit and all vacant land. One of the largest structures is the former Packard automobile plant, which covers about 16 hectares. It's one of the most popular and surreal destinations on Welter's tour. And once you start to see a lot of this, it's not as, doesn't have as much of an impact anymore. Welter's trek through this wasteland is bittersweet, as it might be one of the last tours he offers here. The plant has a new owner who is interested in developing the facility. Instead of an abandoned ruin, it could become, among other things, someone's home. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Detroit, Michigan.